that turned out pretty straightforward. Welcome back to the funky, funky Neo Stylus loose, neary blue that never stops needing to be attended to or observed. You know how it is when you're walking around your collection, you're seeing things happen and then you're sort of torn, should I, shouldn't I? And I was not going to cut into this structure to release whatever is growing there now, which many of you have said is a cakey. And that is possible. I'm still not seeing how that could be a cakey, but you know what? <laughs> Knowing your orchid is also seeing it from a different perspective with other eyes, fresh eyes. Anyway, so Michael McCarthy and Tom Furby helped swing my indecision into the direction of cut the structure because that new leaf, even the next leaf coming out of that center, would probably be pinched out considering also my cold temperatures at the moment. All that tender structure in there is all very vulnerable and it could turn into mush and create rot, which prior to doing this was not the case. But why invite a possible problem simply to sacrifice one leaf? And here we are. I've just done that incision and I've painted a little bit of dragon's blood on where I've cut. Now, um, I don't want to be jiggling around that structure too much because it is tender after all, but maybe now with the release, it will grow a little bit straighter, seeing as we're still in the early days. You see, let me turn the orchid around if you're interested. Here, we have a fan growing a new leaf normally. It's coming, no interference whatsoever. So whatever is going on back here, well, we're back to observing and following the progress. Anyway, this is a quick vid because I did want to document this and I'm hoping that that leaf might straighten itself out or <laughs> at least not rot. But I really appreciate all your input. Thank you, Michael McCarthy and Tom Furby as well for pushing me in the right direction. It always helps to have a second, third or fifth set of eyes. And anybody watching this video, thank you as well. Thank you for your time. I wish you a beautiful day on one condition that you stay safe and take care. Bye.